And we are back on 91.1 WZBT. This is Jillian Witherly and Carolyn McCunner here <laughs> on our first ever show. Yeah, no, this, is our, this, is our, this is our premiere, everyone. So this is our premiere. Stressful is. for us. It is a little bit stressful. <laughs> um, I want to say, how long was our... Uh, our prep time for this, Jill? Uh, I'm gonna say, I want to say it was an hour, but it wasn't. Yeah, I, I was, I was, <laughs> I was hoping you would say two weeks okay. to just cover up for it, but you <laughs> Never were an mind. hour, which right. is actually ten minutes, but you know what? It's fine. We'll go with it. We'll um, go all right, it. so why don't we, you know, premiere, we might as well just go over the, uh, the basics. I am Caroline. We are, we are both freshmen here. Yes, we are. Um, Major undecided, everything else undecided. also undecided. Mm -hmm. um, all we know is that no things are decided. <laughs> so actually, I don't know if everyone um, understands our show title, but you should. If you don't know, it's an NPR show, National Public Radio, um, mm -hmm. called All Things Considered, and um, we were actually coming back from Christmas break. And I was riding Ooh, Caroline's yes. car with her mother and father. Yes. Shout out to Mama, Mama Mac. Mama Mama Mama. Mac. Shout out to uh, Trisha and Keith. Are you there? <laughs> Probably not listening because I did not tell them those. This was our premiere. Okay. So fair enough. Drop the ball on that. Mom and Dad, sorry. <laughs> so we were just brainstorming, and Caroline's dad was like, you know, like NPR, all things considered. He's like, I've got it. No things considered. And that was Immediately. it. Immediately. Immediately. Because you know what? We wanted something a little... A little off, you know, on the beaten beaten path. Yes. And uh, no things considered. We also we we enjoy wit. We do enjoy. We wit. enjoy wit. So and sarcasm. And a lot oh, of sarcasm. Ooh, do we enjoy sarcasm? Um, <laughs> but the funny thing is, on the NPR, they talk in this very mellow voice. They talk in this very mellow voice. This is. This is our NPR voice right here. This um, is, no is NPR. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. This is NPR. <laughs> you know, I, in no. fact, for our premiere <laughs> show, I wanted to do my best NPR impression, my best all things considered impression, <laughs> which is right here. It's right here. This is all things considered in NPR. That's well, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. That's, it would have it would have been nice, been but up. at the same time, we got to uh, establish our own. It's true. Our we signature want, voice. Yes, we wanted to make it our own. Somewhat, somewhat. Um, um, also, yeah, sure. you can call in and we can put you on air. Um, we, can you, we can put you anywhere. What's the number for that? We don't, um, we don't we're going to uh, oh, request line. I don't know. And okay. One more time. No <laughs> request line. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not it. It's not that at all. <laughs> so we'll get, we'll get back to you on the line on how to uh, call in. But right now, we for actually, all, for all of you who want to call in, we actually wanted to talk about a really, uh, to sort of just segue into our talk show. Yes. Um, it's going to be a lot of funny things, but we also wanted to segue in to talk about we, a really we big. Think funny. So, well, this isn't really too funny. funny. So we it's it's actually not that funny it's at not all. funny at all. I don't so, even know how you can make it funny because it's not. But we want to bring it up anyways in case anyone didn't hear about it. Um, the missing plane. Yes. Um, was found. It was found. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start. So I hear about this plane missing, leaving from Malaysia. Where are you, plane? Where are you, plane? Where are you? How many How many conspiracy theories did I hear? Maybe four. That's a lot of conspiracy theories. Um, yeah, I I I did in fact give into some of the theories of terrorism, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I want to give another. Uh, back to the shout out to my mother, Trisha. She, in fact, delved extremely deeply into um, the investigation of finding the plane. I want to say that she tried to investigate even further than the uh, US CIA. She tried, in fact, to, uh, you know, beat them to the punch to see where the plane was. Um, so, yeah, what, what about you, Joe? Um. Honestly, it took me a while to uh, like find out even about this because I actually was in South Carolina when this happened. Yes, um, tennis tournament. Yes, if any of you don't know, um, I play a sport here. <laughs> I play tennis, tennis, and I don't play a sport here. My sport is sitting in my room and maybe watching Netflix. So maybe, uh, maybe, uh, okay, maybe. just maybe, though. maybe. 
Um, so yeah, that's the whole plane thing that went down. I feel like a lot of um, airplane things are going on. I know that I went to California last June, and a day after I left, um, there was a plane that like crashed into the San Francisco airport or something. Mm -hmm. Something went wrong there. So it's very scary. It like, is scary. You know, we all we all we ride on planes frequently. I think a lot of people I know, and including myself. Um, it's a little bit, it's a little nerve wracking, but, um, <coughs> excuse me, I might have bronchitis, we don't know. Um, but yeah, no, it was a little, a little intense to hear about the, uh, the initial finding of the plane. Oh, wow. I was, I was confused. I, I gave in to the conspiracy theory that we in fact, um, or that the plane was hijacked put on land, totally crazy. Yeah, I, I, then, I got convinced. But then, I, um, I'm just a sucker for that. Shout out to my friend Jeannie, who posted a very fascinating link yesterday about how some um, pilot was talking about how it wasn't possible um, for whatever, for the plane to mm -hmm. hijack. Yeah. And he starts, like, talked about it in, like, a... A way that I didn't really understand because I'm not a pilot, but how like You're there not, was malfunctions we, and we the pilot be, best you do. Uh, radio DJs, but we are not pilots. Yes, that's true. Yes, we are not. But we, before our next topic, we are going to go to a song, and yeah, um, I'm going to hit "Twist and Shout," a little throwback by the Beatles. <laughs> All right, we had a little throwback moment right there. Some Beatles, Twist and Shout. That's a, that's a favorite for myself. That is a favorite for both of us, yes, I think. Yes, definitely, you know, pretty much any time I'm cleaning my room, I'm vacuuming, or I'm praying. <laughs> or I just feel like dancing by myself. I, yeah, so. I feel like dancing by myself at midnight on a Friday. Which I do a lot, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, totally. I don't... I By myself know. in my like, room, about to go to bed, it just twists in the shower. It gets, yeah. me, it gets me hype. It gets me Friday hype. bedtime. It <laughs> does, yes. Um, so the next thing that we want to talk about is uh, it's become a fad, actually. A little bit of a fad. I didn't know it fad. was um, everywhere in the United States, but apparently it is. I thought it was maybe just a Gettysburg thing. Yeah, Jill thought it was a Gettysburg thing. But no, nope, it is not a Gettysburg thing. We are talking about Yik Yak. Yik Yes. yes, you heard it right. Yik -yak. I I will not say that I do have Yik Yak on my phone, but I do. Yeah, I, I have refrained it. from downloading it. Um, <coughs> I think it is terrible. I think it's absolutely terrible. And excuse me to counter you. I'm sorry. I am eating dinner as we speak. Um, <laughs> I I do read it. I do read it. To counter you, I enjoy reading it. I know. I mean, it's definitely enjoyable. Because don't get most, me wrong. Most of the people that talk about it, I don't really know at all. Yes. I mean, so says, I, I can't wait till we end up on it for this talk show. So, you know what? People are going to be like, yik yak, yik yak away, people. Caroline and Jill on uh, 91.1, please stop talking about us. <laughs> Hashtag frat life. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, it's actually you know a what? lot about frats, I've realized. A lot of it it's is. like just crushing. Well, um, I would say I would say frats. Well, social media. It's on social media, and I would say the social life of this college does. It has a lot to do with fraternities and yeah. sororities, Greek life. So, yeah. if you were to connect the two, I would say it would make sense. Yeah, I just don't think I would ever post anything on there. I uh, one time my friend and I did post something, and it was a it was a parenthesis. Uh, space, 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 period, another parenthesis, and then an opposing parenthesis, space, 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 period, and then another parenthesis. 
if you can visualize what that is, call in and talk about it. <laughs> Please tell us how you feel about that. Yeah. Um, on Yik Yak, if you were offended, if, if yes. you upped it, if you downed it. Please um, let I us got, know. I'm not going to say that I got a lot of ups on it, but I did. But you did. So. I did. So. It was a hit, guys. It was a hit. <laughs> it was. I, I wouldn't call it a hit, but it was. It was, <laughs> it was pretty great. I would say it's blog worthy if I had a blog, but I don't, so it's fine. But yeah, no. Um, Yik Yak, I, it hasn't. I don't know if it's been brought to the uh, the administration. Oh, it, it's been brought to the administration. Oh, it has. Yep. I've I've heard that it has. Um, I mean, I don't know. This kind of resembles something I had in school. Mm -hmm. um, it was actually Back in high school. The smut list. Ooh. Um, it this was is a little bit juicy. It was a thing for the two high schools <laughs> in my county. Brian McMahon and, and Norwalk High School. Yeah, we don't. Okay. Shout out. We're shout out to Connecticut. We shout are naming them. Um, oh, we shout out to CTL. Uh, thank God I was not on it. Not that I would ever thank be God. on it. But um, it was terrible. I actually went to Florida with my mom, and someone asked me about it there, and I just couldn't believe it traveled that far. But things go really fast, but things go viral, especially when you're in college. Um, I mean, what else do you have to do? Watch Netflix. All go I on Yik Yak. It's like a Yik Yak when I'm not in class, a Yik Yak when I'm in class, <laughs> a Yik Yak in the shower. No. Um, no, I would definitely, when I first heard about it, I thought it was very interesting. Um, just the concept in itself, you know, the the anonymousness of it all was very cool. Um, but yeah, no, it definitely gets people into trouble. <laughs> but um, you know, some of it's some of it's harmless. Some of us it is it's harmful. Yes, both, both, both. Um, so we are going to go into a song. We are. Um, it is called. Um, Elastic Heart um, by, by Sia. Sia. Yes. Um, so enjoy.
All right, and we're back. We're back 90, on 9101 WZVT. All right. No things considered. <laughs> yeah, we fight a little bit on that. I feel like I I wanted to say 91.1 WZVT, no things considered, but yeah, you can do that. Sorry. I uh, you, know, you know, in the it is our, our I, I, I have I have some more experience. I'm sorry. Yes, if any yes. of you don't know, I interned for the pregame, which is the with previous Brandon, show Dan, and Pete, um, who are a little bit angry at me right now. They're just jealous that our show is going to conquer. Well, our show, I mean, I don't want to be premature about that, but it might just conquer. <laughs> it might just. I still love the pregame, guys, so. Oh. Keep on rocking. Great guys, great guys. Um. We actually, I we, we have a just, funny story. We were just trolling the web. Um, this is a little shout out to the uh, Breaking Bad fans out there. Trolling the uh, UPI news. <coughs> the headline is: Teacher caught running 1.5 million cocaine lab in home. So you might be thinking, oh, okay, very cool Walter White type move. No, <laughs> he is a secondary school teacher, aka elementary school. Elementary is, school. Which is a little so, bit sad. A little bit sad. Not even um, then children take chemistry, so no, he has don't. no excuse for that. Yeah, so it's not it's not it's not a, a Walter type deal. But um a secondary school teacher has been busted for running a one point five million cocaine one point five million dollar cocaine lab in an operation reminiscent of the television show Breaking Bad. Um he was sentenced, he had a trial, was sentenced to over three years in prison after police found over 100 grams of cocaine, cutting agents, and a pressing machine in his home. If uh, you guys don't know, that's a lot of cocaine. That is, that <laughs> is I, I've never seen cocaine, but I want to say that sounds like a lot. That sounds like a lot of cocaine. That sounds like a lot of nose candy, uh, as the kids So say moral of the story, do not produce cocaine slash any other illegal drug in your home. I'm not going to tell kids what to do these days. See, well, that's the thing. all right. I it's mean, if you like, want to spend three years in jail, you. if you want to spend three years yeah, in jail, it's like, yeah, be exactly. my guest, you know? Oh, it's like, you be want to be guest. Walter White? You want to try to be Walter White? I'm not going to take that dream from you. Yeah. No, no, no. I will never take the dream from you. Did you watch? Have you kept up with Breaking Bad? I am on season three right now. Okay. So I mean, I'm... I'm fairly behind. I've gone back and forth because I watched a bunch of season one and then mm -hmm. I watched a bunch of like season three or two with you. So yes. I'm sort of, I really like the show. I already like watched too many. Yes. So I feel like, <coughs> I feel like, excuse me, I, yes. I can't watch another show. Oh, but yes, I agree. But um, no, I would definitely say the first season is pretty great, especially, I mean, I enjoyed Walter and Jesse just cooking oh, in, in, in the camera. Killing I thought that was it. great. Um, but it may it may glamorize, you know, the life of cooking meth. Not the same as cocaine as our our good friend, um, our good friend the elementary school teacher was doing. Uh, not the same, but you know, how how far can a show go, you know, to glamorize or kind of, you know, make a fictional story seem real, you know, for people to, to you know, take it seriously, take it seriously and try to kind of, em you know, emulate it, excuse me, emulate it, and yeah, I, know, and you get three years in prison, maybe some proby, maybe some proby. It also <laughs> reminds probie. me of the show Weeds, which I have not seen, okay, so Jill, well, take it away. Um, this show is about a suburban housewife living in California, and she, um, Sells pot. So, um, she also has uh, three kids. Two kids. Two no three kids. And um, as the seasons progress, she just gets in more and more and more trouble. So it just gets very very bad. But um, then I heard a woman in Westchester tried to do the same thing that she did. Um, ha uh, started a grow house. Westchester is very close to our county, yes, so we want to say it's a little close to home. It is a little close to home. A little, um, a little too close. Started to home. a pot warehouse, and we like to say pot. On, yeah. Uh, no things considered. We don't say marijuana. We don't say weed. We say pot. We or, uh, we, we don't say grass. We try to anything. actually uh, keep it classy. By we saying do. Pot. Yes. I um, would say yes. marijuana is a little bit 
I, I, liked, I liked the emphasis on the J. Thank you. The marijuana. J, marijuana. Um, that's, I don't know. I don't know if I'd go that far, but... Uh, yes. We're going to stick with pop for now. Anyways, it's a fantastic show. I think it's on Netflix, and I really, really, really encourage you to watch it. Yes. Um, it's great. But, but the question is, why are we so consumed and or infatuated by shows that kind of glamorize the production of drugs? Because you know? it's something that we can't do. It's something... It, well, it's something we can't do. It's something that we would love to do. Yeah, you secretly know? we'd all not secretly, do drugs. We'd all love yes. to have the thrill and get our endorphins going by doing something really risky and illegal. Yes, we so we vicariously do it through watching these TV yes. shows, yes. in which we're not actually selling the drugs. We're watching people do it for us. I totally agree. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, I'm just gonna. Um, yes. Um, yeah, doing drugs is very easy to do on television. And making them is very easy to do on television. Maybe not even a little bit. Um, alright, so here we are with one more song. It's Good Day, Nappy Roots, and, uh, we're gonna take it over. Let's begin now. <laughs>
All right, and we're back from that little. Back on ninety one point one. Yes, ninety one point one WZBT Milk and considered. Um, we had a request from the uh, from a special know, friend of ours, actually. Special friend Deb, who's actually here with us in the studio. He is in studio. He. He actually wanted to remain anonymous, but we did out him on that, Dev Dev. Um, but yeah, no, he wants us to talk about roller coasters. So we're going to talk so, about roller, coast, and roller coasters. I, okay, oh. so I, I'm going to start. Oh, we have a oh, caller, actually. Oh, we wanna, okay. We want to put the roller coasters uh, on Let's on see if we can do this. And we're going to get our caller. Uh, pick it up. Hold on, hold on, Mai. <laughs> just, just hold on, um, You're good. What was it? Right here. Um, I want to repeat. This is our first time on air. Um, also, our Molly. First time trying to get a caller in. Molly. And Molly. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. It wasn't just, going on. You might just have this. Use it on. Oh. All right, Molly. I don't know if we can get you on. Okay, sorry. Um, but we'll we'll tr we'll try in a little bit. Okay. All right. So what's okay. what's okay? Fine. All right. We have a caller. No, no, we don't. No, we don't. No, I right. can't. I don't uh, know. We're gonna on. we're just gonna we're gonna veto that decision of having a caller, and go back to yeah. We have to we have to practice uh, the whole connected call. Yes, I'm not gonna say that we're amateurs or that we're bush league, but um, I'm gonna say yes to both of those. <laughs> um. All right. So I'll, I guess I'll just start with my first experience with a roller coaster. It was summer 2011. I was at the Jersey Shore and I rode on a very small roller coaster that went over the the shore, the actual water, and I was very scared. That is um, scary. It went, I would, it went I would over love, water. I would, it was it was right. It was on. It was like the the boardwalk. Ooh. So you're you're literally over water, right. and like the roller coaster was yeah. on water. And to say the least, I was I I need new pants so. <laughs> Okay, well, if anybody got that, you should be laughing. <laughs> if not, then I'm sorry. Um, uh, uh, I'm trying to think the last time I was on a roller coaster. I want to say it was at, like, Six Flags or something, which I hate going there. I do not like Six Flags. I hate waiting in lines, and it's all lines there. So, I don't like it there. Never been, but um, I think so. I was there, like... In middle school, and I rode a roller coaster, and it just scared the crap out of me. Don't roller coasters, crap. don't say crap. roller coasters. Oh, do we need to dump it? I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> We're just kidding, guys. Uh, this is our. This is. This is us. Oh, um, nice so day. yeah, it was nice day for a ride. Nice, nice day for a ride. Nice day for a ride. Ride. All right. Well, that will that will be our segue into fine actually. Ooh. Um, I'll skip my roller coaster score story because it really wasn't a story. It was just Ooh. about how I hate. All right, so, all right. So, well, uh, Jillian and I are actually very close friends, aside from the radio show. That's how we came to be here, and we do share, um, <coughs> excuse me, an affinity for Vine, which is an app, um, which showcases six-second videos, and we both enjoy very funny ones. And we quote them very, actually, I would say too frequently. too frequently. Yeah, I actually forget to um, watch Vine a lot, but when I do, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. Yes. Um, I, you know, every day it's just kind of like, oh, Jill, did you see, you know, the Vine I commented you in? Or, or you know, Jill, you know, did you watch that Vine static. the other day? Which gets a little repetitive, but... You know, we make do. And is it is it sad that I, you know, spend maybe four hours of my life on Vine a day? Maybe. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's it's a give and take. And Vine, it takes a lot. And I give a lot. Yeah, I'd have to say you're, uh, you're really good at Vining. Do you want to tell everyone your famous uh, Wednesday Vine? All right, well, I think, it, I think this one's funny because not only did she... Go around um, humping things in a room to <laughs> because it was Wednesday, aka hump day. But she also made her roommate record this as she was doing it so that it would be a vibe. So Jill just really explained everything, so I don't really know what to say after that. But I did in fact make a Wednesday vine. Hump I, day? I do <coughs> excuse me. I do have 
a soft spot for making vines. So I was like, you know what? Let's make this relevant. Let's make this vine relevant. It was a Wednesday. Hump day, if you will. So I did see a vine where a, a kid was just going around every every couple seconds was at a different object. Oh, I thought this was scene. original. Oh, it was not original. Oh, I'm not okay. funny. Um, you know, just kind of just maybe maybe humping different things, you know, in in the spirit of hump day. So I did in fact ask my roommate, Trisha Baker, shout out, to vine me doing that for maybe like three or four different locations. And she did. And um, there was no no speaking, no anything until my last scene saying, what are you looking about? What are you looking at? It's Wednesday. Um, it was a hit. I, I've, I've heard people the raving about it. The that we're giving right now is very uh, tedious and superfluous and annoying. But if you want to look at me, it's, uh, what am I, am I rogue? Yep. I'm rogue with, do I have a zero in there? No, I think there's three E's though. There are not three E's. No? Okay. Just See, uh, that's the problem with handles these days. Whether it's Twitter or Instagram or Vine, everyone wants to be very punny. Yeah. You want to be very punny, especially in my high school for Twitter. Everyone wanted to be very punny. See, I never had, I've never had a Twitter. There you go. So See, I can't relate to that. Yeah, but... Twitter was a big thing in my high school. Oh, and it was huge in my high yeah, school. Yeah, but the even bigger thing was who has the punniest and most clever Twitter handle? The punniest. The punniest, if you will. So, you know, mine wasn't that good, but let me think. Okay, so uh, I'm going to give a shout out. My friend Jenny Beal, last name Beal, hers was Saved by the Beal. Ooh, ooh, that's actually that a, was a good one. That's a good one. That was a good one. What do you think about that one, Devin? That's that's great. That was pretty. Yeah, Devin, Devin, Devin thinks it's great. He so. produced Jenny. You're good. So that's all good. Um, my one of my other friends, Lily Christensen, spelled Christ Sensen, so Christensen. So hers was Amen, Lil Christ, okay. which was you know she she got it going. She got it going. Okay, fair enough. She, uh. uh Devin, Devin gives it a little, he gives it a, uh, Could be a little controversial. A little controversial. Um, oh, um, a girl I used to know, Lydia Rulin. So last name Rulin. Hers was Rulin the World. R-U-H-L-I-N, Rulin That's the World. Good. Very, it was, See, I, I can't do that it. with my name. I cannot do that with my name. A girl I used to know in high school, uh, Lauren Pryor. I'm just going to name drop all night. <laughs> um, I think it was uh, Chicken Fried Rice. That was pretty good. That was a good one. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, everyone was, everyone was, you know, we got really creative at uh, Darren High School, except for myself, which was just, it wasn't a good Twitter handle. So, might have been a tough one. All right, we're not going to talk about it. It's that a sensitive subject, guys. So let's not talk about it. I'm kidding. Bullying isn't funny. <laughs> it's funny. Talk about trash. It's actually a funny story about bullying. Um... It's not, believe it's not funny. I don't know why you bring up a funny story about uh, bullying. It's not, in. sorry, it's not actually a funny story. I mean, <laughs> in the context that I'm going to say it is, but in the beginning of the year, Caroline's roommate's name is Trisha. Mm, and Caroline came up with a name to call her Trash. Well, okay, that's, that derives from my mother, whose name is Patricia, a.k.a. Trisha. And, you know, one day I was like, Trish, Trash. Trash. I will, I'm going to call my mother Trash. I'm going to refer to my mother as Trash. So she was the only Trisha I knew. But oh, we love I, her. So we, oh, it's, it's not. We love it's both, not both the Trishas. Yes. Obviously, I love my roommate, and you know she's she's the second Trisha I ever know. So obviously, I'm like okay, Trish, yeah. Trash, Trash. So one day, Trisha, my roommate, gets um, called into my RA's room. Um, and I, I knew about it. She said, you know, Caroline, you know, our, our RA just called me into her room. Like, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know what to do. I was like, okay, all right. Well, you know, tell me after. So she comes back and she was just like, you'll never believe what just happened. So she tells me, she goes, you know, you know, Trisha, I heard, uh, some kids on the floor calling you trash. Like, you know, if you're being bullied, like, I want, I want you to tell me, I want to be open with you. And we just start laughing. We start LMAOing. They, th that, okay. They actually thought 
that we were <coughs> making fun of her name by calling her Trash. Meanwhile, Trash has this thing where she... Yes. She does this thing where she goes... People are like, how did you come up with a name? And she goes, Trash, 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 yes, Trash, 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 Trash. And she does it evolution. so It's funny. hilarious. So funny. So Trisha, shout out to Trisha, Trisha Baker. Trash. We love you, Trash. Shout out to Trash. I felt a little weird calling you Trash in the middle of the store yesterday, but I mean... Even though the looks I yes, got. it's a little weird when we do it in public, but, but you have to own up to it. It's okay. Um, we are going to just give it to uh, iTunes right now. We're going to switch it over to iTunes. Um, and we're going to have Miley Cyrus with F.U. Ooh. Which is one of my faves. Yeah, right? it is one of my faves. Okay, let's right, go. Let's go. Considered. <laughs> I tried to harmonize that in speaking. Speaking of harmonizing, we were actually thinking of doing maybe a little like song once we get our stuff together. Yeah. Um, maybe like harmonizing a song on Nothing's Considered. Um, we love harmonizing. Yes. And one of one of the uh, funnier little anecdotes of Jill and I's friendship, um, we became friends very very soon in the beginning of our year, um, and we in fact I don't know what we were doing, but we just. We just found out that we both can sort of carry a tune. We we have we have some pitch in us, <laughs> and we in fact acapella harmonized bulletproof. Yes, we did. And one, two, three. Just kidding. <laughs> um, we need to practice it because it's been a while. We do, but yeah. no, we would literally run around in September and like harmonize to random people we didn't know, like at night, and just talk to them. And they actually thought we were good. Some so. people, some people thought we were good. Some people sign. just didn't say. Anything. I didn't see the sign. I saw the sign. Um, Open up my eyes. Pitch perfect. Nice. Anyone? Nope. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> on to this funny news event that Devin gave us. Like, Devin. Devin. Oh, there for in us. The studio tonight. He is Devin in the studio is, tonight. Oh, he's shout okay. out to Devin. Devin. Devin, stop twerking. Stop. Don't get off the wall. Stop. <laughs> Totally, Devin's total joke. Totally twerking on the wall. It is madness in WZBT right now. <laughs> Everyone. We're just kidding. We're Devin's just, just Devin doing is his just, job. He's doing his thing. He's being so cooperative. And he's helping us. He's actually through. videotaping us right now. He's, yeah. I, um, <laughs> sounds really I'm, cool. I'm fully close. He's not, <laughs> so. he's not actually creepily videotaping us. He's trying to put us live on YouTube. Except, but we, we didn't, didn't know. find out. Um, we didn't know that we were being videotaped by the webcam on YouTube until. Because last time I checked, ago. this was a radio station that I didn't have to actually look like a real person. Yeah. Because you're only hearing my voice. If you're actually Which seeing actually, us, I apologize in advance. Um, wait, so, okay. Uh, yeah, we found a very interesting story. I said, this is, Devin, this is all from 2009. Uh, wrong story. Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> we found a, well, Devin told us the story, basically, and this, this, this elementary this school from okay. Devin, yeah. so. How old was he, Devin? Uh, he was, like, elementary school. Okay, so, we'll just say elementary school. Um, he was given to him a, like, what was it, spoon, fork, and knife sort of contraption. Sort of like the ones they give us here, to be honest. I, I was, said, like, I was thinking more of a Swiss Army type deal. Yeah, it was probably a little more hefty than the plastic things that <laughs> Gettysburg gave us. Or the giant spoon college. and the giant fork at Servo, which I wanted to take <laughs> one day. Go ahead. So, supposedly he got this um, from the Boy Scout group he was in, and... Apparently he brought it to school, and they found it, and because it was a knife, aka considered a weapon, he was suspended from school for 45 days. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna delve into this. I want to say, okay, bring it to school, let's not. Like, let's not bring it to school. Alright, I get that. Second, second thing, on, on the other side though, you were given it to by your Boy Scouts. Totally understand, don't yeah. bring it to school. But to just suspend an elementary school grader oh, for 45 100%, days. 100%. For 45 I'm days. Sorry. Who's who's ever heard of a kid getting suspended from elementary school? Let's. let's oh, I've never heard of it. Never, never. This is the first time I've ever heard of it. Yeah, yeah. that's a little bit ridiculous. Oh, maybe, maybe somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what you're talking about. But, um, but yeah, no, it's a little bit. You know, I understand 
let's say, all right, let's say it's a Swiss Army. Let's say it's a Swiss Army. Kid brings Swiss Army, you know, teacher finds it. Let's bring it to the principal. Oh, let's talk this over. And let's call your parents, and then you're free to go. You yeah. know, that's what I think. That's what, that's probably what happens. Um, I just don't think taking a kid out of school. New York City. I don't think taking a kid out of school for 45 <laughs> days is going to do anything to him. He's going to get a slap on the wrist by his parents. His parents are going to say, don't bring your knife to school Ooh. anymore. And yeah. then he's going to, what, just chill for the next 43 days? I, yeah, I mean, I disagree a little bit because this is like, this is national news now. Where it's like, you know, okay, we're suspending you for five days. This kid's, he's never going to forget this, you know? He's going to take this with a grain of salt. It's like, okay, I just got suspended. Like, when he's older, he's going to be like, what the heck? I know. What the heck? Um, but, yeah, no, I definitely think it's kind of an interesting thing to weigh in on. But then like, again, we are living in an age where weapons are too commonly found in schools. And uh, okay. we need to be careful. Yes. And schools want to be prepared. Devin, um, Devin, do you have sorry, something to say? Devin? Well, no, Devin? There, there was just this other one really recently. Where it was a third all right, all right, we have we have something else. Ooh, Devin, Devin, right. Devin, Devin, we're, we're going to get, the, we're gonna the get our issues. we're going to get our uh, our info from Devin real quick. Do you want to talk in this? Okay. <laughs> so it was a, a third grade girl, and she went with a birthday cake, and her grandmother sent a knife with her to cut the cake. Oh, like like a cut it like a like yeah, a that a, kind of a cake knife. knife. Okay, so third grade girl gets a birthday cake from this her grandmother. So she takes it with her to school. Bring and a knife. So no, grandma, knife. grandma packs. A knife. Grandma packs. You know the the knife that you cook cake with. It's not like a it's not a butcher's knife. It's like uh, one of those. It's it can be, but I mean it just depends what kind of grandma you are. Of, <laughs> don't know what kind of uh, cake you're eating, but. No, but yeah, it's it's one of those, you know, well, it's kind of like a square. Right no, it's a it's a it's a triangle, yeah. kind of. Mm -hmm. You know, to cut it. It's pretty blunt. It's not it's not sharp. Yeah. It's blunt. And gets suspended for how many days, Dev? Forty five. Alright, girl gets suspended for ten days. Sorry, it's a guy. It's not bad. That's it's a guy. That's so uh, we're gonna do a lot of fact checks on this because <laughs> Devin is dropping the ball. Devin is changing his facts about. every two seconds. Devin's changing his But I mean, mind. honestly, what would we do without him on what this premiere? What so we do? Um, we're going to go to a song because we just talked about so many kids getting suspended. That um, makes me feel bad. Yeah, so we kind of want to bring the mood up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and, and we're going to do that by playing a classic um, that I just kind of found, which I kind of hate. But... Red Solo Cup by Toby <laughs> Keith because this is what's in the iTunes that Jill brought us. Okay. So here we go. Okay. We'll do. Okay. We are back at 91.1 WCBT. Ooh. Oh, we are back. No things considered. No things considered. Um, we, it's coming to the close of our premiere, actually. We really are. We have about three minutes left. Yes, we, we do. We are at 89, 91.1 WCBT, no things considered. Um, <laughs> just in case you didn't know. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Um, how, how would you rate our first show? Um, I think it was pretty good. I think our preparation level was a little low. Preparation level, maybe a soft, <laughs> soft, soft six, hard five. Fair enough. Yeah. Let's potential, let's be generous. Potential, very generous. Was there. Potential was potential there. Potential was there. But we were not. <laughs> <laughs> potential was present. We were. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely, it's just a learning But experience. thank you so much for listening, yes. everyone. And. We are going to be here every Saturday night, 8 to 9. Yes, we will. Um, I will keep posting the link. If you haven't already, uh, please like our page on Facebook, No Things Considered. Um, like our cover photo. 
Yeah, shout out to, uh, uh, to Lizzie for shout out to having to Lizzie. environmental science while I was doing shout the out, cover photo. Shout out to uh, me for telling Jillian what I wanted our cover photo to be, which included a lot of Photoshop editing. Shout out to Jillian for doing the Photoshop editing. Well, thank you. Shout out to Professor uh, Terlitzi for um, not realizing that we were doing that during his class <laughs> in environmental science. Shout out to my mom, shout out to my dad for just having shout me here Shout out to dad, well. mom, Sarah, Molly, shout Victoria, my roommate, I love you, Rumi. Shout uh, out to I don't know if Holly's still listening, but Holly, you're the best of this partner ever. I keep saying my stuff, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. We're gonna shout out to my sister Catherine, shout out to my cousin Kelsey, shout out to my grandparents. Okay. Mom, Papa, I'm sorry. We're, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna end with a going out song. I hope you all are gonna turn up. Um, you get turned up, I just got a bracelet. Oh, oh, oh. It's, that has a turned up spell. Jill, did you get me a nice little cursive gold, uh, gold plated uh, uh, bracelet that and says turned up. Turned up. So, happy Saturday, everyone. I happy Saturday. Good night. And uh, you guys are going to turn up. Rave on, guys. Rave on. To a little bit of uh, spice.